back at it again and as you guys know it is almost the end of the year the end of 2022 today is actually the 28th uh so we're, we are rounding out the year and hopefully 23 will be a much better year um you know with uh you know republicans actually holding on to the house <sighs> i mean i have some doubts but i, I definitely think it's possible I think a lot more people are waking up to the BS and can see through the smoke screen. Uh, there, there are a lot of different, you know, YouTube channels that are exposing some of this stuff. There's a lot of different, um, you know, social media pages that are waking up and exposing some of this stuff on all platforms, Twitter, Instagram, uh, even, even a place that might get shut down like TikTok. There's been a lot of people exposing some of the BS that's going on. So that is very, very good to see. But... We got a video here from Campus Reform. Shout out to Campus Reform. Make sure you guys go show them some major love. Subscribe to their YouTube channel. Support them because they do some fantastic work. But we got a compilation uh, video from Campus Reform that I am sure is going to be magnificent. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Make sure you're following me on social media too. And with that being said, let's dive in. Why did you come to protest here today? First of all, I am a member of the LGBT community, so I think it's very important to, uh, to, uh, See, and that, that, that's, that's the problem that I have. And I don't truly know what the solution to that is. For one side, it's okay to say horrible, terrible, no good, very bad things. You heard what that guy said, or at least you saw it. It, it was bleeped out, but you saw the text. And if you didn't, uh, here is a second look at what that gentleman said there at the end. Yeah, you see it. That's what somebody yelled at that gentleman. Now, can you imagine if somebody on the right were yelling stuff like that? It would be front page news all over the news. You know, the 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 uh, the the view I almost called the show the host. <laughs> Goodness gracious, the view in Sunny Hostin and Joy Behar and all of those gals on the show would be screaming about that from the top of their lungs. Right. This type of stuff is absolutely despicable. And the only thing that I can think of, you know, to combat some of this stuff, I'm not saying stoop to that level. But if one idiot in the group. Says something like that, then, you know, we just kind of I don't want to say, like, don't say anything about it, but like we address it with that specific person like, hey, you know, in private, don't say that. Chill out. But in public, we don't say anything. Because I think acknowledging that in public makes it worse because then it seems like the left is winning. I don't know. How do y'all feel about that? How, how do you guys think we can actually combat this type of stuff? Because you see that all the time. You see it all the time. Just Republicans just sit back and take it, turn the other cheek. And the left just continues to get closer and closer and closer. You know what I mean? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I, I, I think sometimes we need to publicly stay silent about things and behind the scenes, you know, address certain things. I'm not saying stoop to their level or even, you know, act like it's cool to say stuff like that. But just in public, we don't address that person, you know, DM them in private. You know, we, we, we need to address certain things. That's just the way that I see it. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. It's, it's, it's something. But like I said, what do y'all think? The Second Amendment is from a different point in history, and we need to recognize that. That's not what the Second How do we balance gun regulations with this Second Amendment? The Second Amendment really says you know, it's more about forming the militia and the right to protect yourself, and it was made because of people fearing slave rebellions. Is having a gun well, worth more than having your kids shot? When the Second Amendment was. Uh, there, there's a way to fix that. And, uh, you know, Democrats had an opportunity, but they would rather have sent 
millions upon millions and billions of dollars overseas than too hard in our schools and protect our kids. They'd rather go protect somebody else's borders, right? And this is a fact. I even dropped a YouTube short on it. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. I think it's called, They're Just Wasting Our Money. I think that's the title of that one. They would rather spend money, millions, hundreds of millions, protecting other people's borders, other countries' borders, than to spend those hundreds of million, millions of dollars here on our schools to protect our kids. And that's why I said these, these, these leftist politicians, they want that type of stuff to happen. They want it to happen. The proof is there. They had the opportunity to do something about it, and they did it. The only thing that they're determined to do is just take away the weapons. Oh, we, we got to take them away. Hardening the schools, doing that, out of the question. We're going to send millions over there. Forget about the schools. That's basically what they said. Just saying. Am I wrong? Maybe I am. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. Talk to me. Written, it took like several minutes to load a gun, so I'm like... It Sean. When the Second Amendment was written, it took like several minutes to load a gun. So I'm like, if you have the right to bear arms, you have the right to bear a musket. And you don't have the right to bear a AK-47. I don't think it's it's bad to own a gun, but assault rifles don't need to be in the hands of civilians. They don't. How would you define an assault weapon? Anything that can shoot off a round in like, like multiple rounds in less than a second. Why are you guys here today? To get a photo. Um, a handgun technically can shoot at the same rate as an AR-15, so... What's your point here? Just ask him. Just ask him. Can shoot off a round in like, like multiple rounds in less than a second. Why are you guys here today? To get a photo with Beto. <laughs> yeah, pretty much at this point. <laughs> I was like, that'd be cool. Yeah. Do you support Beto? What specific policies do you think will help Texans the most? He's going for a uh, full legalization of marijuana. He has. He thinks of the people of Texas like in a way. In a better way, the women's for, uh, sorry, I, I'm unsure. I'm not super uh, well informed about those policies. If you're a trans man having a baby, that's great. It raises awareness on the fact that trans men can have babies. But you're born with biologically. biologically. It does not determine your gender. Anyone with a uterus should be represented. I don't know if it's uterus or uteri. Why? <laughs> I don't really like it. It's like impossible that men can be pregnant. No. <laughs> no. 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 Police is not safe and supportive for everyone. Oh, we, 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 we checked out this video. It's really for the white privileged people. I don't look at police as like a political thing, but I know some people do. I think it just matters on the culture of the classroom, I guess. That's a controversial one. <laughs> Usually you can tell their political views when they do this, when they fly this type of stuff. So I would say probably not also. Yeah. The people's decisions. This time. Okay, so what if I were to say that about them feeling uncomfortable about the police lives matter flag? Hmm? Because if, you know, someone broke into their house and, um, you know, started to do some bad things, maybe even some rounds got put into the air, okay? Being a little um, PG here, all right? Being a little PG. Who are they going to call? I guarantee you they're not going to hesitate. 911, 911, 911, 911. But of course... You know what? F the police. F the police. But when my life's in danger, you better come save me. <laughs> These folks, man. These folks. The nerve. The nerve to say some of this stuff, man. The nerve. And I get it. All, there are some bad actors in, in terms of cops. And I think those cops, those officers should be charged under the fullest extent of the law. I think any officer that breaks the law intentionally should be charged with double a regular civilians you know um sent or should be should be sentenced to to double whatever a regular civilian would be sentenced to that's just my humble opinion but to make it out and to see to to, to make it sound like most cops are horrible people no do you know how ter like what 99.9999999999% of cops are just like you and me. 
They have a job to do. They do it well. And they want to walk back inside of their door the same way they walked out of it. Not with a few extra holes or being carried with, through, you know, in a body bag. Well, you wouldn't be carried back to your home in a body bag. But you get what I mean, okay? You get what I mean. So, like, this whole narrative that all cops are bad or even most cops are bad, it's, it's BS. It's BS. And if these folks think all cops are bad, well, don't call the cops when you're in trouble. Figure it out on your own. Call the emergency health team or whatever these folks, you know, advocate for instead of police officers. Good luck with that. You'd be making people on the right. CNN and MSNBC. Yes, because we live in a white man's country. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I forgot. No black people um, are successful here in America. None, not a single one. No, no Mexican or anybody like that. No person of color is successful in this country. <laughs> Silly me. I'm sorry. I, 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 I completely forgot about that. Yeah. Um, the white man's holding us all back. He, he's, he's holding us all down. Okay. Anybody that's not white, none of us can be successful because the white man is just holding us back. Silly me. How, how could I forget such a thing? <laughs> Goodness gracious, man. You know, th th this stuff is just absolutely ridiculous and sad. Like, what? Think for yourself at least a little bit. My goodness. <sighs> we got a lot of work to do, guys. A whole lot of work to do. Whole, whole lot of work to do because we're, we're sending people like that out into the real world. Out into society. And people like that. People like that are getting on some of these boards. Yeah. People like that are making it onto some of these school boards. People like that are making it onto, you know, some in, in, into these board meetings for big companies. And uh, as we have seen, that is not a good thing. <laughs> I think that has been very, very clear, okay? And I'm not quite sure exactly how to stop all of it. We might, I, I might have to sit down and explore like some strategies to get rid of the woke and explain it to woke people in such a way that they don't get defensive, but they understand like, because I think part of, part of that whole dynamic when you're trying to talk to, you know, a woke person or someone like that, that young lady in their mind, they think that somebody like me, or I'm assuming like most of you guys like hate them, you know, or like want them to, to Paris or something crazy like that. And it's just like, um, no, I think your ideas are trash, but I don't hate you. I'm like, no, not at all. Not even a little bit. And I think that's part of where, you know, where that kid at the very beginning, uh, where, where some of that anger is coming from, because it's like, oh, those guys are a danger to me. They want to get rid of me. And it's like, um, no, I mean, when you're a complete idiot, would I like you to, you know, go to a different country? Sure. Maybe. You know what I mean? But I don't want to physically harm you in any way. No. That's that's not even close. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on. That doesn't make any sense, but I, I, I feel like some of these folks truly believe that. And it's because of these Democrat politicians. They've convinced them that I believe, and you guys can let me know if I'm right or wrong. They've convinced them that conservatives and Republicans just want to do them a bunch of harm. So I think part of the battle is convincing them that like, no, we don't, we don't want to harm you. We really don't. <laughs> We think your ideas are terrible, but we, we don't want to physically harm you at all. No, that, that's not that's not in our interest whatsoever. So what do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section below. Shout out to Campus Reform once again. Make sure you guys go show them some major love and um, happy holiday season. It's not New Year yet, but come New Year. Happy New Year when, when New Year comes. Anyway, y'all stay safe out there. 
I'm out.